Hello students, today I am going to discuss about quadrilaterals which is chapter 8 of your textbook. Now what is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a plane figure bounded by four line segments as you can see here one line segment, second line segment, third and fourth. So whenever any plane figure which is bounded by four line segments then it is called a quadrilateral. Here A, B, C and D, these four corners, these are called vertices. That means in a quadrilateral, there are four vertices A, B, C, D in this case. Now, how many sides are there? A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A are the four sides of this quadrilateral. Whenever we join vertices, this is one vertex, this is another vertex. These are the opposite vertices. So whenever these two are joined by a line segment, then this line segment is called a diagonal. So here you can see one diagonal, this is another diagonal. That means in a quadrilateral, there are two diagonals. This is the first angle, this is the second angle, third angle and fourth angle. So in a quadrilateral, there are four angles. Suppose if I consider this quadrilateral A, B, C, D, I have named this angle as 1. 2, 3 and 4. Now, in triangle ABD, we know sum of 3 angles in a triangle is always 180 degree. So, in triangle ABD, angle A plus angle 1 plus angle 2, sum of these 3 will be 180. We know angle sum property. Again, in triangle BCD, angle C plus angle 3 plus angle 4, sum of these 3 angles also will be 180. Now, if I add these two equations, I am going to get A plus 1 plus 2, A plus 1 plus 2 plus C plus 3 plus 4 equals to 180 plus 180. Clear? So, angle A, I can now combine 1 and 3 together. So, I can write angle 1 and 3 together plus angle C and 2 and 4 together. So, angle A is here 1 plus 3. What is angle 1 plus 3? 1 plus 3 is angle B. So, instead of 1 plus 3, I have written angle B. C will remain as it is. Instead of 2 and 4, we have written angle D. And here, 180 plus 180, already we got 360. That means, sum of 4 angles in any quadrilateral will be always 360 degrees. Quadrilaterals are given specific names depending on whether there are parallel sides, equal sides or equal angles. Now, there are seven members in the quadrilateral family. Now, whenever we say any quadrilateral, it might have parallel sides or say equal sides and depending on that, we can give them different names. In a quadrilateral, if opposite sides are parallel, these two sides are parallel, these two sides are parallel, then this type of quadrilaterals are called parallelogram. In a quadrilateral, these two adjacent sides are equal and these two adjacent sides are equal, then this type of quadrilaterals are called kite. And suppose we are having a quadrilateral in which one of the opposite pairs, a pair of opposite sides, this side and this side, they are parallel and these two sides are not parallel, then this type of figures are called trapezium. So, quadrilaterals can be basically divided into three blocks. One is parallelogram, another is kite and third one is trapezium which is also known as trapezoid in some nations. Any trapezium where non-parallel sides are equal, these two sides are parallel already I told you and these two sides are equal, then these type of trapeziums are known as isosceles trapezium. Now already I told you what is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which opposite sides are parallel and these are two special types of parallelogram. This one is called rectangle. This is a parallelogram in which each of the angle, this angle, this angle, this angle and this angle, all the angles are of measure 90 degree. And suppose we are having a parallelogram in which all the sides equal, here this side, this side, this side and this side, these four sides are equal, then it is called rhombus. Combining rectangle and rhombus, we can get another figure which is called square. So square is also a special type of parallelogram in which all the sides equal, this side, this side, this side, this side, all the sides equal and each angle is of measure 90 degree. I hope what is rectangle, rhombus and square are now clear. 
let me discuss the properties of the members of this quadrilateral family let me discuss the properties of a parallelogram the first property is that a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles so if i consider triangle a d b then it will be congruent to triangle c b d that means this diagonal has divided the parallelogram into two congruent triangles similarly a c also will divide the parallelogram into two congruent triangles i think this is clear second point is opposite sides are equal so here ab will be equal to cd and bc will be equal to ad third point is opposite angles are equal so angle a will be equal to angle c and angle b will be equal to angle d fourth point is diagonals bisect each other this is one diagonal ac is one diagonal bd is another diagonal they intersected each other at o so according to this property AO will be equal to OC and BO will be equal to OD and these properties are true for all the parallelograms and the last point is opposite sides are parallel here AB is parallel to CD and BC is parallel to AD I hope the properties of parallelogram are now clear now in case of a rectangle whatever properties I set for parallelogram all the properties are applicable here the extra property that I should mention here is that each angle in case of a rectangle is 90 degree and here diagonals are always equal. In case of a rhombus which is also a special type of parallelogram all properties of parallelogram whatever I said all are applicable here. Here extra properties that all the sides this side this side this side and this side all the sides of this parallelogram are equal and this diagonal this is one diagonal this is another diagonal they bisect each other at right angles that means this angle will be 90 that means all the angles will be 90 degree this side will be equal to this side and this part will be equal to this part in case of a square all the sides equal this side this side this side and this side all the sides equal and each angle is of measure 90 degree now since it is a special type of parallelogram all the properties of parallelogram are applicable here and since this figure is a combination of rectangle and rhombus so all the properties of rectangle and rhombus are also applicable in case of a square now let me discuss the properties of a kite you must have seen kites flying in the sky and their shape is quite similar to this one so what are the properties of a kite two pairs of adjacent sides are equal so as you can see these two sides are equal and these two sides are equal one pair of opposite angles equal so here this angle and this angle will be equal but these two will not be equal diagonals intersect at right angles since this is one diagonal this is another diagonal so they intersect each other at right angles and here you can see this is the longest diagonal this is the shorter diagonal and longest diagonal bisects the shortest diagonal into two equal parts so this longer diagonal will bisect the smaller one into two equal parts so that means this part and this part these two parts will be equal but these two parts will not be equal let me discuss the properties of trapezium now in case of a trapezium which is a special case of quadrilateral in which one pair of opposite sides are parallel so this side and this side are parallel whereas this one and this one are not parallel these type of quadrilaterals are called trapezium suppose in a trapezium these are two parallel sides and these non-parallel sides are equal if these non-parallel sides are equal then this type of trapeziums are termed as isosceles trapezium in my next video i am going to start exercise 8.1 of your textbook thank you for watching bye bye take care and wait for my next video